sale ramble. I know it's been a bit, but uh, as the wedding approaches, my free time to make videos has gone down a lot. <laughs> but uh, I had to jump on and make this video for you guys, because the Steam Summer Sale is uh, a big deal. It's uh, that time when all those games you've had your eye on and all those games on your wish list are suddenly super cheap, or at least quite a bit cheaper, and you can indulge yourself a little bit and buy some. Something I would enjoy. So I'm gonna have to get this. 
this at some point. Um, might be a trade-off. I don't want to spend too much on the Steam sale, but uh, this is one that I definitely want to pick up uh, at some point. Mechanicus vs. Our versus the Necron. like a little squad management to like building your own city and <laughs> having an army which is cool so it's 20% off uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance is one that I've had my eye on for a while as well I tracked that through its uh, development and kept an eye on it um, it did have I heard a lot of like game breaking bugs and just like annoyances but
atmosphere and the reviews seem to be pretty good. I don't take these reviews, uh, you know, just always like 100%, but when there's like a ton of people, that's it's usually a pretty good indicator. What I usually go off is just, I like Steam reviews just because of of the trends and uh, you know you can read a lot of reviews here um, or if you find like a, a youtuber or something or just like one reviewer that you like and has opinions that you agree with um, and it's good to follow them I don't generally like just like looking up a game and uh, they got that month to play that game at, at IGN or PC Gamer or, um, you know, one of those, Kotaku, then it's just like a mixed bag whether you're going to get someone who just doesn't care about that game or doesn't like that type of game or super loves it and gives it a really high review. So Monster Underworld half off and it looks like they really turned it around so it did have it still has a 68% overall but now it's up to 86% so I guess they must have fixed a lot of uh, why is uh, Geralt in here from The Witcher what's happening <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess they fixed a lot of the issues first launch because it was pretty low. I think it was not a good port right off the bat. Um, so yeah, one of my friends a while back wanted to get this when it came out um, and get, you know, like four people together to play it. So I'll have to see if he is still interested in doing that because I don't think it's a, I don't know, it's not a Myself, self really. I don't care that much about uh, that genre to keep going that far into it, but with uh, a group of people that would be a lot of fun. Alright, Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, this one, yeah, this one has really good reviews as well. 89%, 94%. one, but look, these, the character creation just blows the first one out of the water. It not just like a lizard man, a dwarf, uh, an undead. That's kind of crazy. So that's 40% off. That's a pretty good price. Um, wow, what was that move? That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I'm playing out the first one still. This one is, you can have up to four people. That would be pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, they're, they're great games. The combat's really fun. The, the story's cool. It's all voice acted, which is nice. I know uh, in RPGs that don't have that, at least to some extent, the, uh, the 
reading can be uh, become kind of tedious, especially if the writing isn't the best. All right, what do we got? War Groove. So that's an interesting one. I like a lot of the games that Chucklefish has put out. Mostly just Stardew Valley, though, right? And this is like Advance Wars Fire Emblem type game. Um, it's gone down a little bit recently, but it's new. It came out this year. And I just think it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's 33% off. It's only you know, 13 bucks. It's 
obviously not like a turn-based uh, game like this is, but you have four different classes, and you'll have like a quest and like different dungeon rooms and stuff, and enemy that you spawn. It's kind of a complex little system, but uh, you know, it's pretty fun. I have a friend that really likes, you know, board games and, and uh, card games and you know, RPGs, like, real, like, Dungeons and Dragons style with people, RPGs. Um, so yeah, I got that for his birthday, and um, since I do these, I'll just continue my story on the next one. This is the one that, ooh, that those reviews are bad, but I feel like I'd still like it anyway. Just the same thing with like some more variety, different classes and things. And it, you know, it's ten bucks, so not quite as cheap as the first one. But uh, anyway, back to the story. Yeah, I got that, the actual game, for a friend, and I think it was like right near the end of its life too, because the company that made it. Um, like lost their licensing for it like it expired or something so they couldn't make it anymore so that was like the last printing of that game or something um, so I got it for him and we've played it a handful of times um, yeah it's pretty good I enjoy it um, yeah I think it has the same classes that are like available in the first one as well. It's like the the warrior priest, the fire mage lady, um, the witch hunter, and the dwarf um, like iron breaker type guy. And yeah, I saw this uh, pop up recently on yeah, May 21st, but was playing before Ancestor's Legacy, running around with the Vikings and the, who else is there? Lots of different people, like, who is there? The English, the Vikings, uh, there's some kind of like Eastern European Balkany one or something too. I forget who all the races, or not races, <laughs> this isn't a fantasy game, uh, all the factions. They recently introduced this one, so it's like the Crusades. Seems pretty cool. And that's on a slight sale. But just the graphics and the combat in this game are really just top notch for an RTS. That really blew me away. And just like the intro cinematic for uh, the base game was super cool. next to trees 
and next to a sawmill to get a lot of points. And then unlocks more things. It seems really cool. And uh, it's really cheap too. That's 374. Be a lookout involved. The cities get later. So I just thought that looked kind of interesting. Introduces some weird, like, overarching mini game theme type thing where you can win stuff, but they just keep getting, like, more and more convoluted, I think. <laughs> this one's like you pick a team and then you race by completing little achievement D objective quest daily things. Um, so, yeah, we mentioned that. Rage 2 is 33% off. That one looks pretty fun. I got Rage 1 like on sale a while back and played it, but I don't know. I didn't like it as much as I was expecting to. I don't think the first person combat was very satisfying. The racing was okay though, like runner and the cars blowing stuff up. And yeah, when I have time, I'm going to make a Three Kingdoms Total War campaign, hopefully soon. I uh, did manage to do some of a playthrough on my own just to get a feel for it and, and try it out. I haven't get, gotten to dedicate as much time as I would like, but the, the Blood and Gore DLC is out now. So I'll have to try it with that, which it's kind of lame that they sell it separately in DLC, but uh, it's only a couple more bucks, and you know I I definitely get a lot of a lot of hours of enjoyment out of these games, so I don't really care too much. Uh, what stands out? I know a lot of you people, <laughs> a lot of you people. That's not the way I was gonna word that. I know a lot of you guys uh, enjoyed that playthrough I did. I wonder if the uh, Marching Fire is on sale. Because if that has like a, a single player campaign or something, I would play through that. And that's not too much on sale. I mean, it's half off, but it's still 15 bucks. Enjoy playing through the, the single player. It has a new arcade mode and an endless PvE experience. Wonder what that means. So it does this. Oh, what's this? All players have access to the breach, a new 4v4 PvP mode where you attack and defend a castle. That's cool. solo or co-op battle experience. So does this actually come with like a campaign or anything? Not sure. Doesn't sound like it. Um, but, I don't know. I'll think about it. But, yeah, that's a fun game. Honestly, I just did the campaign really, which was fun. I think I would get destroyed online. It's probably just people who are super good at the game now. Uh, deck building game where you build the deck 
as you go along. I haven't played this because I got it in a humble bundle yet, but I should try it out. Enter the Gungeon's really good. cheap too if you were gonna get it and 
play with someone might be worth it to just go for the second one. Oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty consistently down half off in sales. So, not super exciting, but it is on sale right now. sales on Dishonored. I've only ever played the first one. Oh, this is the one that came out this year is already down to 20 bucks. But I guess it didn't do that good. Well, I have a lot of tabs open already. <laughs> I'm just realizing. Rainbow Six Siege is $10. Oh yeah, I should have done a video out talking about like E3 games I was excited about or something. <laughs> that would have been good. Uh, I did watch. What I watch? I watched Bethesda and uh, Xbox. That Keanu bit, Keanu Reeves bit was great. You're breathtaking. Oh yeah, my friend was asking me if worth it to get Civ 6 75% off and, and I, I wouldn't recommend it like I really loved a lot of the Civ games especially Civ 5 but I don't know Civ 6 just didn't do it for me I played it some with a friend but we both were like eh. I don't know just didn't uh, have the same magic for some reason not sure what it was. A lot of endless games here. Endless Space is pretty good. Um, endless Legends pretty good. I didn't really like Dungeon of the Endless. Never even heard of these ones before. <laughs> circle at this point. These look familiar. So let's whittle our way down here. I just wanted to see these reviews. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not that bad. You know, mixed kicks in kind of high. 69%, I think. But, uh, well, it looks even like more over the top and ridiculous than that, like, Far Cry Blood Dragon, which was like over the top and ridiculous and neon kind of like 80s ridiculousness yeah why is everything crazy <laughs> let's read a couple critical reviews just scan it real quick uh, this game is horrible and he likes all the other ones they've just reskinned Characters and maps. It's tiny. Okay. Claims to sport co op. But the ping's awful. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a good review. Cool beta version. Can't wait to play the final release. <laughs> Got him. so cheap. But yeah, if you can get Just Cause 3. Wow, that was 2015. It feels like that came out pretty recently, but I'm just really wrong. Yeah, 
it's only three bucks right now. That's a good deal. Oh, I remember playing that on like 360 a million years ago. It's 97 cents. Okay. Uh, let's see what Fallout's up to. Fallout 4, 15 bucks. they had like Fallout 76 on here for like super cheap because I would try it I meant to try it during its free week a couple weeks back but I was just so busy I didn't have any time to to spend on it I like got it downloaded and played like like the character creation and like leaving the vault and that's like it <laughs> that's all I got to do to the, the special edition. 
and stuff were connecting that well with the world, but that could have been uh, just my sensor setup. I think I did improve the setup a little bit since then, so it tracks a little bit better. So I probably should try it again. I enjoyed Fallout a little bit more, but I did, really didn't get that much game time out of that either, so. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be waiting uh, many years for the, the next Elder Scrolls game. Here's Saints Row. That's usually pretty over the top and delightful. I remember it, it you know, like the first ones are just like GTA level of over the top and then like immediately just went super crazy. This one's an L. Look, he was riding a and he, well, lazy boy with mini guns on it. Lots of older Star Wars titles. I heard that they're making like um a movie based on like the GoTour series, like that, uh, that setting, and if so, that would be really awesome, because we haven't really seen a, a movie or, or much touching on that, uh, that kind of super early setting in the Star Wars universe, but also, are you guys excited about that, uh, new Star Wars game that looks like The Force Awakened, kind of?
watch there selling it for us to hell equipment. That's still 30 bucks for these games from 2006. I mean, they're fun, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't pay that much for them. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, I've had that for a long time, just waiting to be played, and <laughs> haven't gotten around to it. Heard really good things about it, though. This one looks fun to me. The Revengeance. Where you're like, uh, slicing through enemies and stuff. Seems pretty cool, just for that mechanic alone. Final Fantasy, we're getting that, uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake, which, you know, I might have to get just for the nostalgia, but I don't really like the their newer uh, real-time combat system, like, I didn't, I didn't really care for it, what is it, 15, I think, yeah, um, I don't know, it's just not really for me, it's just, most of the time, it's just kind of like button mashing, doesn't have like the strategy of like the old school turn based ones I like. Well, let's see, like these four, whoops, were like the golden years for me. I, heard, I think I played a little bit of six, but I heard six was really good as well. But you got seven with Cloud, and eight with Squall, and nine with Zidane, and ten with Titus. Super good. And out of these, I've only played this one. But, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I bought uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero before. I thought it looked pretty cool. And it has some, like, some, like, I don't know. I've seen people play it, some, like, battles where there's different like hive cities or type things and I don't know you're sending armies are being sent between them you're trying to like win battles and take over spots it seemed kind of cool but uh, yeah I tried to play that and I didn't get really <laughs> like out of the intro like I swear that cutscene right off the bat is like hour and like a legit hour of just like cutscene and I was just like done after that <laughs> so I didn't even give it a fair shot really I was like played a little bit and was like now I'm exhausted from just that intro here is uh, the golden years here and these they have like robot mech warrior things which is kind of cool and yeah, I've played the first ones as well. They're just, they're good. They're just from a, a simpler time, I think. So it's more about just like exploration and combat, but they're fun games too. I like them. XCOM. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. 75% off on XCOM 2. Never played that. I played the first one. Enemy Unknown. I know there's like older ones. Uh, yeah, all these ones. Never played those, but I like how XCOM Enemy Unknown and, uh, you know, the newer ones have been. I'm just a fan of that turn based uh, tactical combat. And now we're just browsing. as well, so for this upcoming month, 
so you can pick that up in the monthly bundle. Binding of Isaac. Dang, that's pretty expensive. How much was that at, at full price? Oh, that's because it comes with both these. But that's such a good game. Void Bastards. That looks really fun. It's like a roguelike uh, first person shooter. I've heard good things about that too. So, but yeah, it came out so recently it's not on sale either. Yeah, May 28th. It's been out almost a month at this point. Let's go back over here and see what else is going on. I heard Darksiders. 
Warriors 3 was actually pretty good. I saw some YouTubers play that. Um, I need, I think that I got Hollow Knight at some point, maybe, in a humble monthly. I'm not 100% sure, but I need to play it at some point either way. We'll take a look at those tank sales. sellers just out of curiosity a lot of people buying PUBG and Monster Hunter good Three Kingdoms still at the top it's it's a really good game based on what I've played I'm really happy with how it turned out but you know I'll talk about it more whenever I inevitably get around to making a video of it that Warmer 2 is still sitting at the top here. Stardew Valley really des deserves uh, all the love. It's a super solid game. No Man's Sky, wow, that's interesting. It looks, it did go from like crap to like, you know, pretty high, but it looks like it settled back down at 51% again. It's unfortunate, but that it, you know, did get a turnaround, but uh, too little, too late, I guess. And I don't know, I definitely don't have the time to sink into it now, but maybe at some point. simulator. I feel like I would get bored of that in like 10 minutes. <laughs> wow, the Royal Editions. Oh, that's barely, <laughs> barely off at all. What the heck? What does that include? Okay, that, that, that. are. Oh, you get a female protagonist. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would just go for this if I was going to buy it, just to, to see if I liked it. Um, which uh, I'm still debating. Let's just check out the RPG section real quick. selling ones are, but what's trending? Oh yeah, Littlewood looks kind of fun. It's kind of like Stardew Valley, but like even more chill, and you actually kind of like design and build the town as well. So 
this one, instead of just having a story, you actually have to, like, I don't know, move around your armies and take over stuff, and then you go into, like, the third-person combat. That seems interesting, if that's the concept. Dang. Wish this was on sale. story in these games. 
game, so it's pretty fun. And this looks pretty good. Alright. There we go, we found uh talking about the Steam World game. We found something new and interesting. What is this game? Never seen it before. selection of classes and abilities, that's what I like to hear. Let's see, let's look at those features. Okay, 40 story encounters. Okay, 30 classes, 300 abilities. That's pretty cool. Customize your troops appearance. as well. Age of Empires. I think that was in Humble Bundle or something. Hey, there's Valseal. Another Total War. I'm just trying to see how many Total 
total war games there are. <laughs> if I just keep going, just more and more, yeah, another total war. They're on every single page so far. Oh no, don't remind me. When is Mountain Blade Banner Lords coming? It's been marked as like coming soon on Steam for like two years at this point at least. crafting, multiplayer, open world, adventure, eh, I don't think so. I mean, they're getting real loose with their qualifying of adventure. What would I put in the adventure? Divinity Original Sin? Uh, yeah, okay. Monster Runner? Nah. Rust? No. Borderlands? ones that we've already looked at, but, you know, the big thing with these sales are just check your wish list and, and anything that uh, you've had your eye on or just thought was cool, just take a look and see how much it's going for right now, because there's a pretty fair chance it's at least like 20 to 25 percent off, so it's worth a shot.
leave uh, a like or a comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Um, you know, in the comments, let me know which ones uh, you guys have gotten, uh, what sales, if I missed any, or which ones look good, or um, yeah, if you have any feedback on the ones that I'm thinking about buying myself, just let me know. Um, I'd appreciate uh, hearing from you guys. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's, <laughs> that's everything I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the long video since, uh, it's been a bit since I've had a chance to make one, but, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.